A former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan Reno Mokri has described former Vice President Atiku Abubakar as the only man who can unite the country and bring prosperity to its citizens. This is just as Mo Mokri endorsed Atiku as the most qualified candidate to succeed President Muhammad Buhari in the 2023 election. He said, apart from being able to unite the nation and the South, the former Vice President has what it takes to end poverty in the country. Omokri shared a photo of Atiku on his social media account on Monday with the following caption. Look at him, look young, looking young, fit, trending and in fully full holiday mood and mood. Alaji Atiku Abubakar, by the grace of God, my choice as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who will help us bid farewell to poverty and welcome to prosperity i wholeheartedly with my full chest endorse and support atiku abubakar to run for president in 2023 on the platform of the people's democratic party and i urge all my supporters around nigeria to throw their support behind the only man who can unite north and south at this delicate time in our national life Atiku was the 2019 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Omokri, who served as Jonathan's special assistant on new media, had in September backed the Northern Governors Forum's rejection of power shift to the South, saying he wants power to remain in the North after 2023 to teach Southerners the power of unity. Southerners united with Northerners to betray an innocent Southerner in 2015 and expect Northerners to trust them? Even you, will you trust someone who says is next door neighbor to you? Betrayers are by their very nature unreliable. If they can betray one so close to them, to you, they can also betray you to others. Look at Femi Fanikayode. No Northerner can ever exhibit such a trace true he wrote in an instagram post meanwhile in 2019 after the global after the yoruba council of elders and other prominent group and individuals called for the presidency to be zoned to the southwest in 2023 omokri had said if zoning should lead to anyone's turn it should be the southeast turn nigeria's presidential zoning practice which can be traced to the annulment of the June 12, 1993 presidential election is a gentleman's agreement designed to ensure that no region of the country is permanently excluded from power. All of you are not serious. So, okay, you have a fans too, who, if they will be able to think very well and think deeply to know what is good for them, because it shouldn't be a case of, a, oh, we were coerced to vote for this person or you are the one who said we should vote for this person or use your brain look at all of these people together they are same of same old. see uh, this man cried 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 Buhari cried though he wanted to become a uh, president oh people say hey yeah this man oh this man an uh, honest man or oh, this man has that integrity we are talking about but today we all are witnesses with what is happening what has happened since 2015 dates now so the same article to cry though you are talking about uh, this old thing, the same article. Did he not betray uh, PDP when he went to APC? And that is why I said all of you who are always fans of this, fan of that, you can be fan of somebody, but that does not mean that uh, your your tentacles or your sense of reasoning should be thrown into the bin and you will not be able to think somebody will be thinking for you because you so much believe in the person. You don't even think it is out of laziness or inferiority complex that you don't, you don't think something through. Even if the person is right, you have to weigh the options. Okay, what is this person saying? Look at the whole thing from different angles. Then you'll be able to say, okay, yeah, this person is right. Not because, oh, at some point in time, this person has done something that is more, you know, more commendable. And even any other decisions that the person will be taking, whether it is good or not, because he has done something right in the first place or sometime, then you begin to put all your baskets, all your eggs in one basket and you begin to put all your life in that person's or your hope in that person's life no that is not it look at everything holistically if you are a fan of omokri look at everything holistically and make sure that what he's saying is the truth look at it and if you're okay by it then you can 
beat your chest that yes i know what you say i'm supporting this man because i i have seen it from this angle and i'm reasoning with reasoning it with reasoning with him as well if you talk about betrayal did that could not betray pdp before now so what are you talking all of all of you you are the same it goes beyond uh, 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 uh oh this person is from my place or this person is not from my place and that is why we are suffering today oh uh, it's for my place. Oh, this one has this. You are supposing uh, this maybe because he's your, he's your party member, somebody who has left your party before now and came back. If he has opportunity, if not because of anything, if no be shame, he would have gone back again to, to APC. They see this kind of people because they have money to throw around. They can bring billions of Naira to fund election. That is why majority of them will say, oh, this person does not have a structure. Oh, the, the structure they, they are talking about is on how to mobilize, to get money, to go every nook and cranny, to be able to sell the person. Not that the person is, in the real sense, credible. And that's why a lot of people are calling those who supported or who funded APC uh, campaign and election in 2020, in 2015. It's all about money. It's all about money. They are not ready to, to make this country, to make us... To be proud of this country they are not ready for that they are not ready for that at all <laughs> Atiku. okay oh. our eye our our eye go you know you go you go you go i be our body go tell us at the end of the day shame on you or mockery for supporting Atiku or any politician from the north in spite of your experience and exposure you don't see any southern politician to support are you not aware power rotation in 2023 if you did support Atiku has reported you need help, sir. Yes, Omokre sounds like someone on revenge mission due to the to the ways his master was voted at with the help of the southwest region. If you, good luck, Jonathan, too. Did he even do where? Come and talk rubbish. Did he do where? And that is why we will not be progressing. If you are comparing good luck, Jonathan, with a Buhari, that means something is really wrong with you. Because you, you, when you talk about academic, uh, 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 academic whatever or exposure to a very large extent, because even the good luck to not that is exposed, and with his age, I see no reason why good luck should not do better, far far better. Then if you, if good luck with every opportunity he has as a young person compared to Buhari, as more educated compared to Buhari, and he could not do better, and you are now using Buhari to 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 benchmark him that oh Buhari is not good. You should, you should, all of you should be ashamed of yourself. How many times did, did Buhari contest? How many times did he contest? He failed woefully. Why is it that the so-called uh, the Southwest did not support him? Why is it that it has to take them fourth time, the fourth time before they supported him? Why? Why? Why is it so? So if you are comparing like Jonathan with a uh, what is it called uh, Buhari, that means. You don't even you don't even you don't want to progress in your life because in the first in the first instance who locked self did not do well forget all those nonsense you people are just trying to pack to package package and package just be packaging nonsense yes dollar was 200 naira uh, uh, was a uh, one dollar uh, one dollar was a uh, to, to 200 naira and so what was it supposed to be like that the impunity was so everything even at the end of the day did you people not come out did the P pdp not come out to apologize did they not come out to apologize for all the wrong things that they have done? They said, oh, they didn't know that some of their members did all, they committed all manner of atrocities. And they came out to apologize. So what are you talking about? If you are comparing, anybody who is comparing himself with a uh, Buari, that means, uh, in fact, uh, your own self, you don't, you don't finish because that best, if, you should look for people, people with, uh, you know, caliber, with, with people with, with, with so much intelligence to compare yourself with. You are comparing yourself with uh, this administration. I beg you. I don't understand. He had all the opportunities. Good uh, Buhari contested how many times? Three times. He didn't win. With all the noise they always make, ah, he usually have uh, this plenty of uh, votes. Why did those votes not uh, help him? Because of the impunity of PDP. And it was a good thing that it was cut off. And Nigerians, I don't even think that Nigerians even know what they want. I don't think so. It's unfortunate. As for Reno Mokre, he's on his own. No? If you people want to be following all these people, that is your own cup of tea at the end of the day. If he's going to be on a revenge mode, that means we are not ready to... He's not even, he's not, he's not even a serious person. We will not be there forever. What did they bring us? What and what did they actually did? 
that is standing out as a, a PDP. All of them. Before you know now, if if hold on honestly, if all, all if a PDP wins now, all the APC, all the people that run to APC, all the PDP people, they will still come back. Every one of you, you still open your arms and embrace them. Oh, politics is a is a it's a bad a number. It's a bad number. Just carry any any hard person, any hard people. So guys, leave your comment and let us know your thoughts.